Donnie and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business, we can help. Tuesday, and once again, all of our guests today brought to you by our friends at the Waddling Dog. And, and do you hear what you, do you hear this, Rick? Oh! Brass Bonanza, the Hartford Whalers theme song. It, it doesn't belong exclusively to Ray Ferraro. We're joined now by Seattle Kraken GM, former Hartford Whaler, oh. Ron Francis, and of course the Kraken taking on the Canucks uh, tonight at Rogers Arena. Ron, I'm sure that brings back memories. Thanks for doing this, sir. How are you? I'm doing well, yeah. Yeah, you can't uh, can't seem to shake the brass bonanza. It's been a long time. <laughs> uh, we were talking about this earlier. Fifth all-time in NHL points. Second all-time in NHL uh, assists. Uh, how do you think you do in today's game? I don't know. I... Uh... You know, I guess my my uh, weak link was uh, people would say I was never the best skater, so I don't know how that would play in today's speed game, but I think my strength mm -hmm. was always kind of understanding the game and thinking the game well, so I think, uh, you know, I think that would fit into any kind of era of the, the way the game's played. We'll get to the Kraken in a second, but is there a player uh, in the National Hockey League today that reminds you of a young Ron Francis? Oh, I, I don't know. I, I don't Paul Maurice has made some comments about different guys, but uh, I, I think everybody's sort of unique in who they are and how they play and what their style is. And, uh, um, you know, I'd hate to compare anybody to me, let them be themselves and, and enjoy their careers. Yeah. yeah, but did they get, did they rack up the points while wearing Cooperalls, which you did with the Hartford Whalers? Yeah. So you, you, you've got that out of the back pocket, Ron, and, and, and they don't. Let's talk about your uh, Kraken team. Chandler Stevenson, Brandon Montour, the big signings in the offseason. What are they going to add to uh, the Kraken? Well, at the deadline last year, we, we ended up uh, trading Alexander Winberg, so it created a hole for us in the middle. So uh, bringing Chandler in gives us that experienced guy. He's won two Stanley Cups. Uh, we like his speed um, and the way he plays the game. So we think that sort of really helps us in, in that position for organization moving forward. And, and Brandon on the back end, you know, gives us another solid power play guy along with Vince Dunn. And, uh, again, his skating ability can join the rush. And, and uh, I think we got away from what we did two years ago. I thought we played a lot faster two years ago. And last year we got away from that a little bit. Hopefully we can get back to playing with that speed again this year. Hey, Ron, you made a coaching change. Uh, Dan Bilesma is in. He was coaching the farm team. Uh, talk a little bit about him and what you like about him. Yeah, you know, watch Dan work. Uh, Charlotte, the first year as an assistant coach, and we shared with Florida, and then the last two years down there, got his teams to the to the Calder Cup Finals in both years. Um, you know, what I like is is our veteran players got better and enjoyed playing for Dan, and our young kids got better and liked playing for Dan. So I think he's got a unique style and a uh, very personable guy, uh, good attitude, and uh, I think it'll be really good for our organization, especially as we – sort of blend in some of our young prospects into our, our mix and our lineup here moving forward. Ron, Jessica Campbell becomes the first female coach in the NHL when the Seattle Kraken named her an assistant. Um, a great move by you guys. Uh, talk a little bit about her strengths as a coach. Yeah, I first uh, first saw Jessica. She was working the bench in the World Championships for Germany, and uh, one of the coaches working alongside her was Tom Rowe, a former teammate of mine, and a uh, guy that I, I coached with in, in Carolina as well. So I um, had a conversation with Tom, uh, Tom Honor, and, and uh, he raved about her abilities. Uh, when we were hiring Dan to go into Coachella, I asked him how he felt about possibly hiring a female coach. We interviewed um, uh, several of them in the process of trying to find that assistant coach, and, and we decided to go with Jessica. You know, she played at Cornell. She's very knowledgeable about the game. Um, and her years down there was, was very productive, very positive. She ran the power play for us in Coachella Valley, ran different team meetings for Dan. I sat in on numerous meetings. And uh, what I like about Jessica is she's a really good student of the game. She can talk hockey with anybody. She's uh, very knowledgeable. Her meetings are, are clear and direct. So um, we're excited to bring her on as an assistant coach to the Seattle Kraken. The fact that she's female is a, is a bonus. It's not something we were – specifically looking for we hired her because she we think she's a good coach and we're excited to have her work with our players here moving forward 
Seattle. All right, Ron, year four in Seattle. I, the state of Washington's a great hockey town. The Western Hockey League's got so many. But Portland Winterhawks, what a history. Uh, the BC Hockey League's down there with Wenatchee. But you got the Seahawks, the Mariners, the Sounders, University Sports. Uh, the NBA might be coming back, Ron. How has the Kraken fit in Seattle? Yeah, no, it's 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 such a great sports market. You know, I'd heard a lot about the fans before I moved to Seattle and, and the, the noise at a Seahawks game and, and certainly watching the fans in our building and how supportive they are of our players and our team and our organization has been tremendous. Uh, as you said, there's a lot of minor hockey in the area. In the past, they've had, you know, um, you know, the totems in the 60s and back the Metropolitans back in, in the early 1900s. So there is a history of hockey here. Um, uh, it is a competitive market. There's, there's a lot of sports teams and you're, you're kind of fighting for that dollar. But, uh, you know, I think the fans appreciate our organization, especially our ownership and, and our players and, and how they give back to the community and different things that they've done over the years. And I think that's helped uh, sort of create interest in our brand as well as the product on the ice. So we're excited to be playing here in Seattle and we, and we think we've got uh, a bright future ahead of us as a team and an organization for sure. What do you expect from Shane Wright this season, Ron? Yeah, we, you know he's gonna he'll he'll make our team this year. Uh, it's been a process, you know. I think everybody sort of matures differently in, in their game and stuff. But he looks uh, like a totally different player in training camp this year compared to previous years. He's he's much stronger, much more at ease. I think with just the situation he's in and everything, uh, we forget how much pressure this kid's been under from day one. Um, so we, we wanted to make sure that we took our time and and handle him the right way and give him the opportunity and and he'll certainly get that opportunity this year and and uh you know it's not going to be a perfect 82 game season there's yeah. going to be bumps and, and ups and downs but uh you know we believe in shane and his ability and we think he's only going to get better as he progresses and gets a little older this is comes out of the category one that got away for the canucks uh, ron but just how much of a leader is jared mccann for the kraken He's been great. Um, you know, uh, Jared played in the suit back in the day for the Greyhounds, my alma mater, my hometown. So I uh, got to know him a little bit back in those days. And uh, when they had, had the chance to pick him up in the expansion draft and bring him in here, um, you know, I think he's matured as a player on the ice. I think he's matured as a person off the ice, uh, married this past summer. Um, but he's been a real good player for us at both ends of the rink. And um, it's amazing his shot. He can he can he can find the net from from distance, which is hard to do in the National Hockey League. And uh, been a big part of our team, not only on the ice in the community, but certainly in our locker room with our our players and especially our young players as a leader. Ron, thanks for this. Kraken and Canucks tonight, Rogers Arena. Thanks for this, and best of luck this season. My pleasure, guys. Great talking with you.